Hello friends of Software Entertainment. Today I want to show you how I use Captain Hook in a PHP project. The use case of today is to validate that I don't forget and dump in a Twig file. For me, there are two reasons to get this feature here. The first is that it costs me a lot of time and a lot of nervous when I push my dump with a Twig file to a remote system and first gets a response when I check it or when I have a test on it and I have to rebuild all the pipeline. And the second is it is super embarrassing when I push such a pit fail to a repository and everybody starts laughing at me and say, hey, look at him. He must remove a dump from the Twig template. And na, 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 na. This is not my style of a senior web developer. So enough introduction, let's go hands on. So first of all, we check out the official documentation on Captain Hook php.github.io slash capnock. Thanks you Sebastian Feldman for this great work here. And now we just go to the installation guide and we can say we will install this here as a composer dev dependency on our local project. So I just say git checkup branch and I say here feature Captain Hook YouTube and I'm also here on a DDEV context, so I will use the DDEV composer here. Just press enter and wait for the download of the vendor files. Okay, let's go to the next installation step here from the documentation. So I can say here, I just add this here to my terminal. With this, we will make the initial basic Captain Hook configuration. And so do you want to validate your commit messages? These are some rules for the commit messages. We will see it here. It makes a lot of sense. And I say, okay, give it to me, please. Next, do you want to check your files for syntax errors? I do not have here any PHP logic in this project. The most of it is configuration and trick templating. There is not um, the need of a syntax check here. So I say, no, I don't need this. And I also, on the same reason, I don't need PHP unit here. And I also don't need a PHP code standard, but all of these three things make a lot of sense when you want to make better PHP code in your project. So this everything is ready now. And now I just can say here, please say what happened. And we will see we have here a new file captainhook.json and we will check this here now in PHP star. Okay, let's open that file and you see here we have this commit message what we want to validate with the uh, beams rules. Here you have to validate that your commit message start with a capital letter and is in the right um, time here. We will see this later. Also, there are some links here and the video description checks this out. And we have here commands for our pre-push and our pre-commit and um, there is nothing activated, but we will see on the documentation how we do this and what is our actual use case. So for now, let us check that here everything is okay for now. And I have enabled this year on my commit message. So when I want to commit something here, and now the question is how to activate Captain Hook and what is happening here. When you see here on our Git hooks that there are some samples 
how to manage um, Git hooks like a commit message hook or something else. And when I say I go to the next step from the documentation, I will say here, please install our new Git hooks. He asked me, do you want this commit message hook? Yes, I want. And what is about the rest? And I will activate them all from my local captainhook.json file. And when you see now here, there are some new files with not dot sample on the end. And when we will open here our commit message, now we will see that there is now our configuration inside here with our captainhook.json file and everything is coming out of this file and this makes a lot of sense for us because we can handle everything here in a JSON file. I can work with JSON files and I know a, not, a lot of developers and I know a lot of developers who also can handle JSON files and you also can manage this with SH scripts or something else, but not everybody can do this so simple. Now we have um, installed this pre-hook. So now when I want to commit here something like git commit message and in it captain hook and I have here now a lower character on the beginning. First of all, our captain will be here and say, Ark, you have subject line has to start, so you have a problem in your commit message, the subject line has to start with an uppercase letter. And so I can say, okay, I make this fine and now everything is okay. So I can only make better commit messages from this day. The next thing is that I have to go back to my problem with my dump in the Twig files. So I have here, now everything is clear. I am here clear. And now I open my base HTML file and I will say here, okay, add some dump, an internal dump maybe with content. This is actual the use case that I content uh, what I have super often and I work now with this and I have to commit steps here. And this is okay for me when I have this dump here local and make commits, but I don't want to push it on the remote repository because first of all, I have to clean up this things here. Okay, so now many of you are committing here from PHP Storm. I also do this a lot of time. And when I say I commit something from here, I give here a little run git hook checkbox. And um, this is working because when I say here, I add some dump to the base.html.twig file and I will run this here now from PHP Storm. It also will say here, hey, this is not the nicest captain here, but you have the problem on your commit messages to start the subject with an uppercase letter and I can redo this here and say, okay, I add some dump to the base html.twig file and now I say please commit it and this commit will work. So far so good. So now we want to activate our pre-push git hook and so let's check out the documentation about some hooks. 
So for now, we have here our configure area on this documentation page. And you will see that here is some very good, you have a post checkout. So when you do a checkout, and there are changes on the Composer JSON or on the Composer log file, you can do automatically and Composer install. This is a very good feature. It's not this feature that I normally um, need here on my work because it's never caught alone and the most of the time I work alone on my projects. But uh, when you are working on bigger teams and you just want to check a setup, it makes also your work faster. We have here also hooks like the pre-push hook and you can just say, okay, before we pre-push, we enable it and have here some action. So we will enable it and have here some action and in this action there will be an object and this object just have an action and this action is simple our command we will get our command here and say just copy the things make it to here now we have activate it and I, I can say now I have a new git status because I make some changes here on my captainhook.json file but for now when I want to push you will see hey there is something wrong with your base html.twig file so now this is working for me. My git status only has a change on the captainhook.json file, so I can say git at all and git com message. I know that I have to start with a capital letter, and here's the sense I do the pre push section in captainhook.json, so I can add it. And now I already cannot push. But I love the captain, so I can say, I'll give him the full screen here. Get push and he say, ah, hey, please remove this fucking dump from your base html.twig file. And I can say, okay, I've forgotten this. Okay, I will remove this thing here. Remove dump from base.html.twig file. This is okay for me now and now I am clear to make this happen. Green remote push is complete. I captain Arrgh! So what can we say about Captain Hook? It brings me a lot of gamification in my work and also a lot of speed because I can protect myself for annoying issues. And when you use static code analyze like PHP Stan, this simple finder here, linter or whatever you want to do, you can just add it to your local system. Also when teams are not working with this things in the project, you can set up this for your local environment and protect yourself for annoying things and embracing commits and you don't have to redo stuff. And this brings me a lot of passion and I love Captain Hook. It saves me a lot of times because it's so often that I forget this fucking dumps anywhere because sometimes I work on other templates or a dump is in a template snippet and I already have forgotten that it, it is there. And then I just finish my work and say everything is okay. And I don't have every time the debug bar open because I know what keys are inside and I don't have to 
check and validate every time what is here on the debug and I'm working um, maybe on some other things on this template to make this happen and I just forget this done and I cannot push it and this brings me a lot of speed. So massive thank you to you to watching this video. This brings me a lot of passion when you give me a like or follow here this channel and let us grow the quality in the PHP community and in the web worker community and help us with open source and passion and software craftsmanship to build better work conditions. So stay green, healthy and bye.